Hi guys and welcome back to my vlog. I have been sick for a whole week, which sucks. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little better, but I had this cold that just never went away. And I was every day I was like, okay, I feel a little better. Maybe I can do some stuff today. And then I just tried to get out of the house and I was like, I have to give up. Sometimes shit happens, you know, and uh, you're just sick. At least it's something that will pass. So today I feel a little better, thankfully. So maybe I can get back to normal soon. Anyways, thanks for all the lovely comments that I got from after my last vlog when I shared some personal stuff with you guys. Um, it's really meaningful for me, especially when, you know, when I hear other people's stories too. That, you know, there's, you know, all of us go through different hardships in life and death is one of them that we all have to experience somehow and um, I'm happy I shared that with you and um, thanks for all your lovely beautiful comments that was so amazing I was not expecting that at all so thank you so I haven't done really much this week at all but I've been looking through some of my old stuff again so I wanted to share something with you I was thinking maybe I should do my most awkward moments and share that with you or some other stuff that made an impression on me but then I realized okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna share with you something that I did a while ago where I was like I was thinking that it would be a really good idea to be different in interviews and to come up with some fun gigs to just make make it more interesting um, I've kind of stopped doing that because I realized that you never know what the person when you come into the room what kind of mood that person's in and it can go so wrong it can feel so weird and it just it can just totally totally feel wrong so at least if I'm doing something like that these days I will have a backup plan so if I feel that there's no chemistry or the vibe isn't there I'll just like skip it anyways when I this is like in so I did this in 2000, I think it's 2011 or something. I have to check that up. But uh, I was interviewing the cast for Les Miserables and I was like, okay, I'm going to come up with something really smart, something different. And I was laying in bed at night and I couldn't sleep. Uh, back in the days, I never slept before I did interviews. I was so nervous. So, but I was like, okay, I need to find something brilliant to do. It's a musical, so let's... I'm gonna figure out something really smart that I can do with all the cast of this movie. So I came up with the idea, okay, it's a singing movie, so why shouldn't we be singing the interview? And I was like, okay, that's, that could be fun, uh, but I need to find a fun way to kind of make it happen in a way that, that can kind of be funny and quick and entertaining and yeah, you know the drill. So I was laying in bed until like four o'clock in the morning and then I was like, oh, I have the best idea. I'm gonna sing this question to them. Were there any awkward moments like this on set because you had to sing and you couldn't talk? <laughs> so stupid, but kind of, you know, I thought it was brilliant, at least at four o'clock in the morning. Other than I thought, you know, it's kind of awkward when you're singing instead of talking, and that's what you do when you're in a musical, so it made sense to me. <laughs> Anyways, so I asked them, all of them, if I could sing a question to them, and of course, you know, Hugh Jackman would sing back and be amazing, and Eddie Redmayne was so new in the game back then. He was so shy. He was so cute. So I put together this really embarrassing, weird kind of like singing interview reel that, um, yeah, that I wanted to show you. I don't know if I wanted to show you. It's actually on my channel already if you haven't seen it, but I, I posted it a long time ago, so maybe you haven't. Anyway, here it is, singing interviews with Les Miserables cast. So were there, so were there any awkward moments on set like this? because you had to sing and not talk? Um, is that the question? That's the question. <laughs> oh, and you were going to sing it, but then you, you, that was singing. you lost your confidence? Oh, that was singing? That was singing. Oh, it's a very quiet version of singing. Okay. Sounds like just it. like talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My duty is to the law! Like that, you mean? Yes. First question in singing. Can I sing it to you and you can sing back the answer? Well, I won't be doing that, but you're more than welcome to sing. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I so, trained for this. <laughs> okay. 
So were there any awkward moments like this because you had to sing and not talk on sets? No, I kind of forgot that I was singing and I'm gonna do an English accent because that's what I was trained to do. Um, it was just like second nature. So were there any awkward moments on sets like this because you had to sing and not talk? There were hundreds. <laughs> Are we going to stay on the one note or are we going to graduate to another note? <laughs> you could sing just the way you want to. Yeah. Um, oh God, I'm one of those people that blush. Like I can't control my uh, bodily functions. I've now gone forward. Done. Were there any awkward moments like this on set because you had to sing and not talk? I love that you ask me a question and you stay all on one note. Like we're in church. <laughs> it's very good. There were not many awkward moments like this. We rehearsed for many weeks, nine to be exact, so we were not embarrassed. We, we did that whole thing on like three notes. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Was did you go to church a lot when you were younger? <laughs> da -de -de. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great, thanks. Was that it? No more singing? That was it. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and. Um, yeah, let me know if you think that was a good idea or if I should do more of that stuff in the future. Um, I, yeah, as I said, I haven't uh, done a lot of it. I did do one thing with X-Men back a few years ago where I was asking the cast to do their best superhero kind of facial expressions. That kind of turned out really awkward as well. I don't know. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, So I got a few comments from, uh, from you guys. Uh, one was about how I've changed the way I interview people now uh, to what I used to do. And I guess I kind of explained a little bit of that now in showing you my brilliant ideas of how to make people do weird things and then make it fun. Um, I guess the one really big lesson that I've learned uh, is that I always have a backup plan these days. You know, if I see that something's not working, um, I will have a backup plan. And I would always have enough questions so that I will, I will never run out of questions. Um, I don't know if you saw my interview I just had with uh, Chris Pine. Uh, he's the kind of guy that would just sometimes just answer yes or no to something and then if you have four questions and then it's yes or no and then you're like oh my god I don't have more questions that kind of really sucks so I always have like a lot of questions available and then I have some like questions that I can always pick up that that is kind of generic that I can ask a lot of actors um, like about things about acting that is kind of general so that's one of the things that I've learned. And I also, when I look at myself back then, I was kind of a little more fearless. I didn't think, now I'm more like, when I think about what I'm going to do, I, I have like a plan beforehand of what I'm thinking that the actor's going to answer and how I can move forward from there and how if they say something like that, I can ask more questions around that theme but or about that subject. But before, I was like a little bit here and there and I kind of wasn't I didn't think through things so much and I think that's something maybe that comes with age a little bit as well I think when you look at a lot of the the best interviewers out there are usually a little older and I think the older you get the more the less kind of intimidating you are and I think you know if you're 20 years old and you want to sit down and interview a 60 year old talking about life and experience that's kind of hard because they can't really relate to you and they're like okay you're just a baby asking me these questions so I guess being a little older helps me as well to connect with people okay guys that's it for this vlog um, I am sorry that I didn't have any like new material for you guys because I haven't done anything since I've been in bed all week but uh, this week I think there's some exciting premieres coming up and stuff like that so maybe I'll have more exciting things for you next week and I'll keep on posting more interviews obviously on my channel and thank you again so much for being so supportive uh, again thank you so much for all the beautiful comments from my last vlog I really 
Really appreciate it so much. You have no idea. And please keep asking me questions so I can get back to you. And um, yeah, whatever you feel like saying, say it. Unless it's something really mean, then you don't have to say it. <laughs> But please come back to my vlog and watch my interviews and have a wonderful week and weekend. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.